I know the game was a couple days ago, but I'm feeling much better and I'm able to do a recap now. How you guys doing? Rangers and Devils on Friday night at the Prudential Center. The New York Rangers win 2-1. Let's dive right into it. This was our Temi Panarin's first game of the preseason. And let me tell you, he was into it early. Finding Kravtsov for some good chances early. Nothing to really get toward the net yet. The first line for that game was Panarin, Heedle, and Kravtsov. Vincent Trocek was unable to play due to an illness. Same here, my man. But early on out, the Rangers were applying pressure, kind of like how the Devils were the game before. The best chance early on in the first period for me was Artemi Panarin to bark like Goudreau in the middle of the slot. It was a very good save by Mackenzie Blackwood. That would be a theme throughout the night as well. Mackenzie Blackwood was excellent when tested. A good play by Ryan Carpenter led Ryan Reeves to score in chance as well in front of the net. Blackwood made the save again. Louis Deming wasn't really tested until about halfway through the first period. He made a couple good saves. This was probably Vitaly Kravtsov's best game in the preseason. He made a great move on Jesper Bratt entering the offensive zone. He was unable to hit the net, but it was a great move. A little bit of confidence we've seen from Vitaly Kravtsov. He had a better camp, in my opinion, thus far last year than he has this season. I do think Kravtsov will still end up making the team. Now, I know I like to praise him a lot, even though he hasn't really put up the points, but Julian Gauthier, it's Julian Gauthier had a very good game once again. And like I said, he's not putting up points. I like the way the guy plays. He plays a straightforward game. He takes everything to the net, and he did it again tonight. He was able to find Dryden Hunt for a good chance. I just like the way he drives to the net. He doesn't really quit on a play. I know he's not burying them. Seven minutes left in the first period. The Rangers already have 15 shots. Jack Hughes was excellent tonight for the New Jersey Devils. I think Jack Hughes is ready to break out. Everyone's saying a 100-point season. I think it's going to happen. He is a very good hockey player. We have seen it over the last couple seasons. And when healthy, I think Jack Hughes could be one of the most dynamic centers in the NHL. I know his size is a little bit smaller, but it's, it's to his advantage. Like, I know... He might not be able to go up against the guys on the boards and win a battle, but he can absolutely dangle somebody. He is so quick laterally. It's very impressive to see. Using one of those lateral moves, he went off the post on Louis Domingue. At the end of the first period, shots were 17-4 in favor of the Rangers. Rangers had a power play early second period that dragged in from the first period. Both units had some good looks. Second unit had the best look. Brodzinski couldn't bury it. Zach Jones made an excellent play on Jack Hughes' pass. He was able to intercept it by sliding. I liked seeing that from Zach Jones. Thought he had a pretty solid defensive game. But on that same play, Jones is able to push it into the corner. It finds Jack Hughes, who we were just talking about, and he puts the Devils on the board with an absolute snipe from the right circle. 1-0 over Domingue. Hughes from Palat. Let's not forget, Andre Palat is now a New Jersey Devil. About halfway through the second period now, Panera, Hedl, and Kravtsov have some good opportunities once again. I really enjoyed that line. The Rangers go back in the power play, and they were able to get some chances again. However, Mackenzie Blackwood was a brick wall once again. A few days ago, Panarin said that he wanted to get back to the way he played in Columbus. I think he's been a lethal player for the New York Rangers. Can't really say I agree with him either, but he wants to get better, and I love that. Something that I noticed from Louis Domingue, he likes to play the puck a lot. Not really in the most ideal situations. He turned the puck over a couple times. Kind of risky in his own end, but just something to keep an eye on. With 7 minutes and 35 seconds left in the second, Louis Domingue gets relieved for Yaroslav Halak. And he is tested early, making a good save on Jack Hughes. Later on in the second, Julian Gauthier gets robbed again by Mackenzie Blackwood, this time point blank in front of the net. Jack Hughes gets another chance, and it's a save by Halak. Jack Hughes by far the best devil tonight, except for the goaltender. About four minutes into the third period, the Devils get a chance off the crossbar. Puck turns the other way around, the Rangers off the rush. Now in the offensive zone, Braden Schneider feeds an incredible pass. From the right side to the left to Artemi Panarin, who's on the dot. He's able to put an absolute great shot. Probably the only shot that was going to beat Mackenzie Blackwood tonight. And it's 1-1. One -one. Panarin from Schneider and Kravtsov. Yaroslav Halak was sharp tonight, especially in the third period. Made some big saves when he needed to. I think he won the backup job tonight. About halfway through the third period, the Rangers are on the board again. They take the lead. It's Keandre Miller throwing one towards the net. Off of a couple devils, we love a friendly bounce. 
and into the back of the net. Like I said, the only shot that was going to beat Blackwood tonight was that Panarin snipe. And fortunately for the Rangers, a bounce like that ends up in the back of the net as well. Rangers possessed the zone well tonight. And I think on that goal, they did a really good job at cycling the puck. Keandre Miller able to put it toward the net. And a lucky bounce, like I said. And Rangers take the lead, and they're able to hold on. The dying seconds with the goalie pulled for the Devils. Jimmy Vesey may have secured a spot on this team by making a great defensive play on Janssen right in front of the net. He had a, maybe a wide open net, but he was able to get a stick on it. Jimmy Vesey made a very good defensive play. My biggest takeaways from this game was Julian Gauthier getting a lot of great A chances. He was able to get a lot of chances tonight. He found some space. Artemi Panarin is Artemi Panarin. He looked really good tonight. I thought the line of Hedl, Kratzoff, and Panarin was okay. I would like to see Trocek, though, for the ne maybe the next preseason game Wednesday against Boston. And what I like to see was the Rangers playing in the opposing team's end, something they didn't do against the Devils the night before. Next game for the Rangers is Wednesday against the Boston Bruins. I appreciate you guys for watching. Please leave a like down below if you did enjoy this video. If you guys are brand new, subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you guys later.